I'm gonna go down here and go to, uh, to After Effects. The workflow here is a little bit different. Double click here and bring in that same file. We'll get that guy. River House is right there. And I'll make a new comp from it by dragging it down to the new comp icon. And After Effects is really not geared toward audio editing. It doesn't have a separate audio track, but you can find the audio down here by opening up and going to audio. And there's the audio. And the waveform has that same look before that's really low level. Right. But now if I want to edit something in Audition that started in After Effects, I select it and go to the layer panel. I think I always get thrown off here. Or go to the edit panel. Yeah, bop, 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 bop. There it is. Sorry. Sorry. Go to the edit panel and down here is edit in Adobe Audition. Click on that. And it works differently. Now when I go to Audition this time, it's going to have the video visible. Whole different kind of world. Not, not, it won't be visible, but it'll be present whole different kind of world now. It actually has the video here and I can watch it as I edit it and I'll, you know the, the details about this I have to do a multi-track session to do that and I really don't need to see it in this case and so I'm not going to go through the process. Well I could just I could go through the process but it doesn't really make any difference at this particular point. I'm working on the audio only anyways. You see there's an asterisk after it and it's also called now Riverhouse's audio as opposed to extracted and so uh, it's just a different naming process and a different workflow so there's that little uh, problem area again. I can select that area again, and I can do the same routine I did before, where I go to Favorites, Auto Heal, and I raise the volume a little bit so that I can cover for the fact that Auto Heal has a tendency to lower volume a little bit. There we go. And there's that one that's been fixed, and this one over here. Right, there's another one. Fix that one. Same routine as before. Auto Heal, raise the volume a little bit. All right, about to 3 dB. Okay. I save this now. I just go file save. And it's going to save in the place where it came from. It's, it's saving in the place. Nope, it's, coming, it's not automatically saving where it came from, so I need to browse to do that, which is different than with uh, Premiere Pro. So I'll save that. Click OK. And now I can go back to After Effects, and it won't be there. That's a big difference between Premiere Pro and After Effects. I need to go get it. So I need to import that audio. So it's called Riverhouse's Audio. And I need to bring that into my comp. And then go to this one here, with, which has the, the clicking in it. And just uh, turn and just make that silent. So I turn off this little speaker here. So it will take the sound will come from the fixed audio rather than the original audio. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Jeff Sangstack, an Adobe Certified Expert and the Lead Instructor here at BlueEffects.net. If you want to watch this entire video lesson, as well as other live classes and After Effects crash courses, then I invite you to check out the Blue Effects After Effects Academy. Just click the link below this video to find out what we've prepared for you in the After Effects Academy.